Hi everyone and welcome to DIY Mummy's Minute making budget friendly crafts. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now plug in them glue guns and let's get started. Today we will be making some Christmas headstone saddles. My saddle I'm just reusing from a previous arrangement but you can also purchase them at your local fl flower shop or you can get them at the Michaels craft store. So I have two options for the foam. You could do, use this yoga brick that I purchased at Dollarama. It was $4 and it's the perfect size for the saddle. You can also use your green foam. This one was purchased at Michael's. It was a little bit more expensive. I believe I paid $10 for the sheet. You're also going to need some wire cutters, your glue gun, your glue stick, some scissors. You're also going to use two bunches of garland. These ones were purchased at Dollarama for $4 each. You'll need zip ties, approximately four, and some decorative ribbon. This one was purchased at Michael's for $12.99, and I believe they have 40% off their Christmas ribbon right now. You're going to need some sparkly pine cones. I think I have six there. And I picked up these holly berries at Dollarama. They were $3 a bunch, and they come with 10 holly berry bunches, so that's really budget friendly. I also got some Ellipkiss leaves at Dollarama, and you'll need two. And these were purchased at Dollarama again for $3, so not too bad of a price. And then I also got these poinsettia garlands I thought were really cute. Um, and I'm just going to be using the berries on them, the red berries, and they're sparkly. And then the poinsettias have like red sparkles in the middle, and they were adorable. So we'll be using them as well. And this garland was $3.50. So your first step is you're going to want to attach the foam onto the saddle. So to do this, I'm just using my zip ties, and my zip ties weren't long enough, so I'm going to use four. And I'm just going to wrap them around the saddle and the foam and make sure they're well attached. And then you can cut off the access tags. The next step is just preparing our greenery. So we're going to take our two bunches of garland and our wire cutters and we're going to cut off small sections of the garland. And you want to make sure you're leaving some of the wire on either end of each piece. And that is what you're going to be sticking into the foam. You can then go ahead and add your garland onto the foam brick. So again, you're just going to stick that wire right into the foam and it holds fairly, very nicely. So on each end, I make it a little bit longer than the middle. And I'm just going to go all the way around, kind of sticking it in the middle of the foam. And then these, this garland, because it's wire, it's very bendable and you can manipulate it whatever way you need to kind of fill in them gaps. So you want to make sure you can no longer see that blue foam. So you can go ahead and bend the garland all the way around and then you're going to start adding some onto the top. And don't worry about the bottom, no one's going to see the bottom. And for some extra support, I actually wrap some of the garland around the saddle, just on each leg, and that really secured it well. And if you're still seeing some of the blue or the foam, you can just hot glue some of the single pieces to kind of cover those all up. Next, we're going to take our Ellipkiss bushes and we're just going to use our wire cutters and cut off all the stems. So you're going to need at least four small stems and then two longer stems. So the longer stems we're going to put at either side or either end. And to secure these on, we're just going to use our greenery garland and we're going to wrap the stems around them to hold them in place. And it kind of gives it that effect that it's weeded through. So you're then going to take your smaller pieces and you're going to put one on either side of the front and then one on either side of the back. 
Next, we can go ahead and prepare our smaller holly berries. So these just pull right off. And you're gonna enter three or four on either end just by shoving them in and putting them in place wherever it looks good on each end. And then you can go ahead and secure them with your hot glue gun. Next, you can go ahead and get your poinsettia garland and you can just remove the poinsettias they easily pull off and you're going to need six of them and then you can also go ahead and remove the holly berries and we use four of these and the remaining of the garland we won't be using so you're first going to put on your poinsettias and you're going to add three to the front and then three to the back and you're just going to secure them with your hot glue gun so next we're going to create our bow so you're going to need your decorative ribbon and some wire ties and these wire ties were purchased at dollarama for a dollar fifty so really good buy and you're just going to take your ribbon and to create this bow it's going to be a large bow on the top so to do this i basically just wrapped it around my hand six times so you can do six to eight times depending on how many loops you want in your bow i think i use six with this one and you don't need an actual tail because the tails won't be visible so once you get your loops you're then gonna go ahead and make sure they're the proper size that you want and then you're going to take your wire tie and just secure those loops together and then once they are secure you can then go ahead and fluff your bow out and to fluff it out, all you do is just pull them loops apart. And don't worry, it might look like a mess at first, but you can just go ahead and play with it to get that desired look that you're looking for. You're then going to add it onto the top of your arrangement. So to do this, I just use my wire tie that I used to connect the loops together. And I just connected it to the greenery. And then we can always secure it once we get exactly how we want it to look with some hot glue. Once I got the bow attached to the arrangement, I then went ahead and fluffed the loops out to exactly how I wanted it. I did end up tucking the tails under, creating two more loops. So this bow did have eight loops in it. I'm then gonna go ahead and apply my sparkly pine cones and I'm gonna put two in the front and one on either side and then two in the back and you just secure them using your hot glue gun. step is just to apply the larger holly berries and I'm just putting one on either side of the pine cones just above the end poinsettias in the front and then again on the back and then securing with my hot glue gun. These turned out so pretty and they look so festive on the headstone. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe for more DIY fun.